Oh my God, Tammy, I haven't seen you in forever. Girl, you are looking good. How did you lose all the weight? Thanks, girl. I lost it due to the ketogenic diet. You know, the ketogenic diet can kill you, right? Okay, thanks. I'll take that into consideration. Hey guys, it's Tammy. So I'm assuming you guys have heard this a thousand times. Am I correct? Keto is bad for you. You're going to get keto crutch. Uh, you're going to die of a heart attack. Oh my God, I can feel the plaque forming in my veins right now. Oh my God, you're going to get diabetes. Um, I have heard everything from soup to nuts. And trust me, with me being with heart failure, me being with dilated cardiomyopathy, hypertension, you know, oh my God, the ketogenic diet's going to ruin your thyroid. And especially with me having hypothyroidism, I have done my research. I did not follow some Dr. Barry or Dr. Berg on YouTube. I studied my own research. I studied how the thyroid works in the body. I studied how the heart works in the body. I studied how food works in the body and how it's metabolized and how it's used and everything like that, you guys. Okay. I studied my, I'm still studying to this day. Now, granted, People love studies. They do. They love, and I could shoot you studies after studies after studies after studies. There really isn't anything long term. The only thing that I found is a two year study, and all markers for heart disease, um, for health wise, looks good. Um, if you were going to talk about, oh, we ate like this back in the caveman days. No, we did not eat like this back in the caveman days. I don't care what the hell you say. We did not. We have food available to us 24-7 at the grocery store. They did not. They also ate fruits when they were in season. On keto, you're only allowed berries. You know, they didn't eat berries year-round. You know, they didn't have berries in the wintertime. They didn't have fruit in the wintertime. They didn't have certain vegetables in the wintertime. Come on, use your brains. But I am going to tell you this. When somebody, and I have been there. I have been there. I would fire back and just be like, well, I'm going to tell you what, you know. Or here, let me tell you a little story, you know before it just drags out into an argument, because I've actually lost two friendships over this, just say, I'll take it into consideration, thank you, and be done with it. I mean, you could shoot them with studies, you could shoot them with your own personal, how you're off medications, your blood pressure is lower, made your thyroid optimal, blah, 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 blah. Just sit there and just say, I will take it into consideration and thank you. If you have done your own research on the ketogenic diet, you will know that it is safe. I mean, basically what you could be saying is, um, I cut out all processed foods. I no longer do fast food. I cook at home. I incorporated more fruit, uh, <laughs> Fruits and vegetables. I don't have brain fog anymore. My diabetes is cleared up. Um, uh, I cut all sugar out of my diet, you know, and everything like that. And they're going to be like, oh, good for you. But as soon as you put the keto name in front of that, you guys, I've been there and people have told me, you know, you're going to die, Tammy. Well, you know what? I already died once, so guess what? That's why I'm doing the ketogenic diet to prolong my life. Now, Wednesday weigh-in, it's not going to be a shocker. Guess what, everybody? I gained weight. That's right, because for the past six days, I've maybe got about three hours of sleep. And when you do not have enough sleep, it's not enough recovery time, especially if you work out in the gym. It sets your hormones off. It throws your whole body out of whack. 
So last week I weighed 194.3. This week I weigh 195.5. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm not stressed about it. I'm not, you know, okay, I would love to get more sleep. I really would. This week, this past week, has just been a little stressful for me, you know. And, you know, I've done everything to try to relax, to rewind, like candles, take a bath, do all that stuff. Nothing helped. Only maybe three to four hours of sleep. So by not getting any sleep, my whole body is just saying, Bitch, you need to get on track, all right? <laughs> Honestly, it does. And so this week I am going to be taking some melatonin. Maybe that might help. I am really dead against taking anything to make me sleep because anytime I take anything to make me sleep, um, last time I tried melatonin, I threw up. Uh, Benadryl just makes me feel like dog shit the next day. I mean, I'm dragging ass. So I am really dead, you know, I want to do things naturally. I want to do things, you know, and try to do it so that way I'm not infecting my body with more pills and more medications and stuff like that. So we'll see how next week goes. I was really hoping to give a giveaway, but maybe next week will be the giveaway. So I only have like a pound and a half to lose. It's not a big deal. I And actually, if I wanted to, I could really call it quits right now, but I don't want to. I want to show you guys that weight loss, fat loss, fat loss is like this. It's a slow downward slope, okay? Slow downward slope. This is fat loss, okay? This is weight loss. Your body fluctuates every single day, you guys, and it's a pain, especially when you're on your, you know, your last legs, on your last five pounds. It's a pain in the butt. Uh, I've been there before. It took me six months to lose my last 20 pounds. I just hope to hell it doesn't take me another six months to lose a pound and a half. I really want this journey to be over with. I wanted it to be over with by the end of February, but obviously that did not work out. Or no, the end of March. The end of March. I wanted it to be over by the end of March, and obviously that did... No, was it the end of February? Yeah, it was the end of February. The end of February, and obviously it's taken a little bit longer than I expected. But it's okay. I mean, like I said, I could quit right now if I wanted to. I'd be happy with it, you know, but I'm going for the other pound and a half. But I will talk with you guys later. I hope you enjoyed that. If you liked that little comedy skit in the beginning or think I'm just a big dork, put it in the comments below. Also, put in your response when somebody tells you that the ketogenic diet isn't good for you. Put that in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I will talk with you later. Have a great day. Bye.